Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Good morning friends, we are continuing our lecture on selecting initial values for C, for L by D and in the last lecture we have spent some time to see that how to handle the units of C because most of the handouts or literature you will find C is given in a non-consistent unit and uh, mostly the work is done in FPS as far as books are concerned. So we spend some time on C so that you know how to handle this problem of units. But our main aim was to look for if I am applying for a cruise from point 0.1 to point 0.2, if I know what is the value of R I am aiming for. And if I know what is the cruise speed I am aiming for and type of engine roughly I know I have selected, we will discuss about how to select the engine. If we have all those things based on historical data, then how to compute this R handling the issues related to units of C. The next question comes, how do I select the value of L by D? what L by D I should fly to meet all these requirements. If you see if you are using a jet driven aircraft as far as E is concerned, if I want to design for E max, I am very clear I should fly at L by D max, directly comes from here L by D max. What is the meaning of L by D max? For the pilot or for the designer, L by D max means you know CD equal to CD naught plus KCL square. So L by D max means CL I have to fly such that CL equal to CD naught by K. Now if you see here, this expression for E, if I see here, which is for a propeller driven airplane. If I try to look for E max for a propeller driven airplane, which is here, you could see here L by D and there is one V infinity. So if I now rewrite E for a prop, that will be nita by C, L by D to 1 by V infinity. So I will write V as 2 W by S rho CL for V and ln WI minus 1 by WI and this L by D I can always write as CL by CD. So what you are saying if you want to ensure E max for a propeller driven airplane then this CL half goes on the top so it becomes proportional to CL 3 by 2 by CD. So if I want to have E max for a propeller driven airplane then CL 3 by 2 by CD should be maximum which in turn means that I should fly such that CL equal to 3 CD naught by K. Okay? And now if I come for range of for a propeller driven airplane this one it is straightforward I should fly such that CL equal to CD naught by K because range maximum for a propeller driven is when L by D is maximum and for that you know CL equal to CD naught by K these things we know for minimum drag or we write L by D maximum. We have already done these things, right? 
for a jet this is the expression see for a jet r equal to v by c l by d to ln w i minus 1 by w i and now if I write v equal to 2 w by s by rho c l under root what happens if I write this then for range for jet will be v by c c l by c d for v now I will write under root 2 w by s rho c l and of course into ln w i minus 1 by w i. So, what is the message you get? If you want to maximize range for a jet driven airplane, then it means you need to fly such that C L half by C D is maximum. Nothing new. We have done this in performance course, which in turn means C L equal to C D naught by 3 K. So, if I repeat, if I want to maximize the range for a jet driven engine, I need to fly such that C L equal to 3 C D naught by K. If I want to fly a jet driven aircraft for maximizing endurance, I need to fly at L by D max or C L by C D max, which means C L equal to C D naught by K for propeller. If you want to maximize range, I need to fly such that L by D is max or C L equal to C D naught by K and for endurance for a propeller driven aircraft if you want to maximize E that means this L by D divided by 1 by V infinity and we have seen that it means you have to fly such that C L 3 by 2 by C D is maximum which means C L equal to under root C D naught by K. Why we are doing all these things? because we are addressing a question that we want to translate all this information through L by D max. We will ask a question, if I am flying at C L equal to 3 C D naught by K and still maintaining level flight, how much L by D I am supposed to fly? If I am flying such that C L equal to C D naught by 3 K, then how much L by D I require? For example, here for range maximum, for E maximum, for R maximum, for E maximum, we are looking what is the value of L by D and can I relate this value of L by D with respect to L by D max, right? Please understand for a propeller driven airplane, to get maximum range, I need to fly at L by D max. But for endurance, for maximizing endurance, I am not flying at L by D max. I am flying at a C L, which is equal to 3 C D naught by K and corresponding to that, what is that L by D I need to calculate. And then we would like to know that L by D is what percentage of L by D max. So, from designer point of view, if I know what is L by D max, then I know for different different operation, what percentage of L by D max I will be flying for a particular cruise or a loiter mission. That is what we are looking for, right? But that is important, we have to plug those numbers here. I have tried to mention this every part of my lecture because this is one of the most important parameter and you see how selection of L by D will decide feature of the wing, feature of the wing aerofoil, fuselage shape, because after all you are designing, we are trying to design an aerodynamically efficient airplane and L by D is known as aerodynamic efficiency of a machine or an airplane, right? So, let us try to visualize the C L by C D for different combination. We know that C L for minimum power 
which is nothing but 3 CD naught by K and that became one of the conditions for getting E max for a propeller case, right. Similarly, C L or I write is to not to confuse you, C L when C L 3 by 2 by C D is maximum. At time C L is 3 C D naught by K and when C L for C L by C D maximum, it is under root C D naught by K. Clear? If you are maintaining this sort of a flight condition, then what will be the C D in this case experienced by the airplane? Because you know C D equal to C D naught plus K C L square. C D will be in this case C D naught plus K into 3 C D naught by K. So, this K K cancel this becomes 4 times C D naught. So, this is C D for C L 3 by 2 by C D maximum just for understanding. Similarly, C D for C L by C D maximum how much it is? This is C D naught plus K C L squared K into C D naught by K. So, this becomes 2 C D naught. Please understand we are trying to ask a question what C L by C D I should fly for a particular mission. So, I am just giving an example if you are flying such that C L is C L 3 by 2 by C D maximum uh, case or you are flying a CL at CL by CD maximum case, then we will try to compare CL by CD for this and CL by CD for this. What does it mean? I mean the question is both the time I am asking a question, what is the CL by CD I am flying? Flying which mission? I am thinking of cruise only at this stage. Okay. So, if it is a cruise and a lift equal to weight and how much is the lift? Lift will be half rho v square s c l. If the aircraft has the same weight for these two conditions, then I am trying to find out what will be the C L by C D corresponding to these conditions, right. Is it fair enough to assume weight is same? But remember when you are going for a range estimation or when you are going for a loiter estimation, in practice there will be change in weight. So, we will see how to incorporate that, but today the lecture is primarily focused on getting designers perspective on C L by C D. So, I am trying to build this subject. Okay. So, V for and this is equal to W. So, V for C L 3 by 2 by C D max will be equal to under root 2 W by S by rho into 3 C D naught by K. Similarly, V for C L by C D max be equal to under root 2 W by S by rho under root C D naught by K. This is clear because for this case C L equal to 3 C D naught by K and for this case C L equal to C D naught by K. Once I know this, let us have a closer attention to this. If I ask you a question between case 1 and case 2, if the altitude is same, then which case, in which case the airplane will experience larger dynamic pressure that you should easily know that. For this case, you are flying at a higher CL, so the speed required will be less and density being same, the dynamic pressure for this case will be 
less that means when you are flying such the CL3 by 2 by CD is maximum then actually you are at a slower speed right and just underline this statement I will try to correlate this when you are designing for endurance and all ok now if this is true then what is the drag for CL 3 by 2 by CD maximum case that will be half rho v square v will be this is 2 w by s by rho under root 3 cd naught by k so this is basically half rho v square into s into cd naught cd naught is you have seen for this case cd naught is 4 cd naught or to correct to correct myself the cd is 4 cd naught c d is 4 c d naught. So, half rho v square s into c d and c d is 4 c d naught. We have seen that. Similarly, drag for C L by C D max will be equal to half rho into v square which is 2 w by s by rho c d naught by k into s into 2 cd naught which you could see somewhere here this is the case right so now if i try to see the ratio between d for cl 3 by 2 by cd maximum by drag when it's flying at cl by cd maximum this will be equal to what and both are flying at same altitude and then this gentleman goes this goes w by s goes this goes rho goes uh, 2 w by s this 2 goes so what is remaining remaining is this cd naught cd naught goes this is 2 and there is something like 3 everything goes right this gentleman goes this goes so it is like 2 by root 3 which is roughly equal to 1.1547. So, what is the message here? Message is when you are flying such that C L 3 by 2 C D is maximum, you are flying at a lower speed, but you see here the drag when you are flying at CL 3 by 2 by CD is 15 percent more than drag when CL by CD is maximum. Okay, this is very very important to understand. So, we see that drag for a configuration where CL 3 by 2 CD max and drag for a configuration CL by CD max they are given equal to ratio is equal to 1.15 or we realize that drag when you are flying at C L 3 by 2 by C D is 15 percent more than when I am flying at C L by C D maximum. I repeat again what it is showing is the drag experienced by the airplane at a lower speed flying such that C L 3 by 2 by C D is maximum that drag is 15 percent more compared to the drag experienced by the airplane when it is flying at C L by C D maximum. So, this can be easily extended that C L by C D when you are flying at C L 3 by 2 by C D maximum will be 0 0.866 L by D max or I write it C L by C D max one and the same thing. Where from this point H 6 is came? This is nothing but 1 by 1.1547. What is done here for a given C L? The C D for this case is 15 percent more compared to 
CD for CL by CD max. So I can simply write CL by CD when applying as CL 3 by 2 by CD max will be 1 by 1.1547 times CL by CD max, which is this number is 0.866. That is why you are seeing that number 0.866. Right? Now let us go back to the range equation and endurance equation. What we have learnt? If CL3 by 2 by CD becomes the primary condition, then I should fly such that L by D is equal to 0.866 L by D max. As simple as that. Another thing what we learn, if CL by CD is the governing factor that it should be max, like here it should be max, then L by D I should fly such that it's equal to L by D max. These two things we have learned from here. Okay, we have not talked about anything on range or endurance here. Fundamentally, we have seen that whatever may be the condition, if you are flying such that CL3 by 2 by CD is maximum, then you have to look for an L by D, which should be 0.866 L by D max. And if you are flying such that CL by CD is maximum, then naturally we are looking for L by D equal to L by D max. This is the L by D required. Right? Okay. Now see how this can be used. Let me write for jet, we have seen R is V by C, L by D into Ln Wi minus 1 by Wi and endurance is L by D 1 by Ct Ln Wi minus 1 by Wi. For a propeller driven, R is theta by C, L by D, Ln Wi minus 1 by Wi. And for endurance, it is theta by C, L by D, 1 by V infinity to Ln Wi minus 1 by Wi. So let us apply whatever you have learned here. If I first take endurance, the question is asked for a jet driven aircraft, what should be your chosen L by D so that we have got maximum loitering time or endurance is maximum. So I see jet, okay, E is this and E is L by D, this, 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 keeping other thing, okay, constant. I am looking for only L by D. So for Emax, this tells me I should choose L by D such that it is CL by CD is maximum. Then only you will be maximum, which in turn means I should fly CL equal to CD naught by K. If I really want endurance to be maximum. And if I come here for range propeller driven, again I am seeing R will be maximum, keeping other thing constant when L by D is maximum. So it is also similar when I am designing a propeller driven airplane, if I want to go for maximum range, what L by D I should select so that I fly at that L by D and that is nothing but I should fly at an L by D which corresponds to C L by C D max. For a propeller driven, if I come to endurance, then I find that E is proportional to C L 3 by 2 by C D. I hope you could see that. This is L by D, so C L by C D and V infinity has, so this term if I write L by D and for V infinity it is 2 W by S rho C L and L by D I write as C L by C D. So this becomes C L 3 by 2 by C D. So what is the message? Now it is something to do with C L 3 by 2 by C D. 
So for CL3 by 2 by CD, I know I need to select L by D, which is 0 0.8, 0 0.866 L by D max. So for this, I should select L by D, which is equal to 0 0.866 L by D max, or CL by CD max. But we haven't answered what should be the L by D when I'm flying a jet machine and designing an aircraft for range maximum. Let us look into that. Now we are looking for that condition so that I design a jet driven airplane for maximum range. And what is our aim? We want to ask a question, what L by D I should fly? L by D in terms of L by D max because I will design my aircraft for a particular L by D max. Now, if you see carefully this expression, R is V, V means again 2, W by S, rho CL, 1 by C here, under root here, into CL by CD, into LN, WI minus 1 by WI. So, this range proportional to CL to the power half by CD. That is, range will be maximum if CL to the power half by CD is maximum. This is also not new, nothing new. You have already studied in your performance course. And this essentially means that CL will be CD naught by 3K. Okay? If CL equal to CD naught by 3K, now I ask you a question. Can you tell me approximately what should be the L by D or C L by C D? I should fly, let's say, times of L by D max. Some factor, let's say, A. What is the value of A? How will you find out? So I leave this lecture here. I would expect that when I come tomorrow, we have already made an attempt to answer this question. Then only I will think that really we have been really communicating well. Before I end, I must tell you, our aim is we are looking for what is that L by D I should fly. That is the big question. Theoretically, we will have some number, then we have to ensure that the airplane is indeed capable of generating that much of L by D as dictated by these things. And that is what is the major task of the designer. Right? So, what I am doing, making you understand why this is required, so that I can comfortably go to a situation how it can be achieved. Unless we know why it is required, the answering how it can be achieved becomes less motivated. Right? Okay? So, next class, maybe another two, three class, we will be all focusing on L by D. So, that we have indirect exposure to aerofoil, its shapes, its lifting characteristics, drag polar, all those things will be touched upon so that you can pick some number. Right? That is what a designer will do. Thank you very much.